Hey everybody, GeoArm Security here, and today I'm going to show you how to program a 5816 wireless window or door contact into the Honeywell Lynx Touch L5210 all in one home and business security system with the 958 overhead garage wired contact into the wireless contact for garage door applications. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to prepare the 5816 and the 958 overhead garage door contact. So we want to take the manufacturer box for the 5816, we want to go ahead and open it and remove the spacer, the magnet, and the mounting screws from the top area. Then we want to remove the battery and the actual contact from the box. Make sure to keep the box in resellable condition in case you need to return it. So keep all of its parts handy and don't throw the box out. Next you're going to want to take the 5816, depress the little tab opening up the contact, exposing the insides. Next you're going to want to take the 958 overhead garage door contact out of its package and keep the packaging for that as well. You'll notice you have the large magnet placed there and then you have the actual contact itself. So I'm going to put the contact down here and you'll notice on the opposite end you'll have two wires. Make sure you expose just a little bit of the inside strands because that's what's going to get wired into the 5816. Now I want to talk about the 5816 for a second. If you notice you can see this is the external, uh, this is what allows for an external contact to get wired in. There's two terminals with no polarity. You'll need a small little flathead screwdriver, which we have here. And what you're going to be doing is essentially there is a little knockout. We won't be doing this today, but just to show you, there is a little knockout in front of the external contact right in this region right here. You're going to go ahead and knock that out or cut it out right here. You can see there's a little transparency. That's going to allow for the wires to kind of be hardwired into the 5816. We're not going to do that today because it would require us to cut the contact and we don't want to do that today. So I'm just going to run it through the back little mounting area. And the overall goal will be the same and we'll show you how to program it. So first you want to put the wires kind of together. I'm going to go ahead and run it through the back like so with a little excess coming out. And then I just like to do them one by one and uh, just go ahead and insert into the terminal. Once you have it inserted, hold it in with your thumb. Go ahead and screw it in and then go ahead and do the same for the other terminal. Insert and then go ahead and screw in. Like so, and then now you can pull both of the excess wires through allowing you to seal this contact up when you're ready. Next you want to take the CR123A 3 volt ion lithium battery, locate the positive and the negative terminals, and you want to do the same for the contact. You want to make sure that you insert the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative, like so. You can go ahead and seal the contact back up. Now that we have the 958 directly hardwired into the 5816, we're ready to program in the contact. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and hit security, hit more, tools, default installer code which is 4112, select program, zones, and as uh, in previous videos, we do have programming the front door, a, and we did the front door with an entry exit delay one. We did the master bedroom window as a perimeter or instant perimeter. We showed you how to program a garage door with a delay. Now we're going to show you how to program a garage door with an instant perimeter setting. So we're going to select the next available zone, which is zone five. Select edit. Now you want to enter in the serial number, so go ahead and select serial number, locate the serial number on the actual contact, go ahead and enter in that seven digit number, select done, 
When you're done, verify that that's the correct serial number. You're going to want to have it programmed as loop 1 still because we're using the external capabilities of the 5816, which is loop 1. Zone description, we're going to go ahead and select. And we're going to go ahead and put garage. garage. Zone description 2. I'm going to put as instant. Even though it won't enunciate. Um, if, if it's not picking up the word and enunciating it here, it's not going to enunciate it in general. But just as a description, I'm going to put instant. And then a device type, I want to put it as a door. And then now I'm going to go ahead and select response type. And the last one we showed you how to do it with an entry exit 2 with a 60 second delay. Right now, we're going to go ahead and select it as perimeter. That means the alarm will directly go off if this sensor is activated while the alarm system is going off. We do want this to report back to the central station. Chime type, you can select, uh, keep selecting, and you will get different tones. Once you feel comfortable with the tone, you can leave it at that. Make sure the supervision is supervised. Then you can go ahead and select save. Now we have the garage instant door. So now we can back out of programming, allow ourselves back into programming. Now you can back out to the home. And I'm going to go ahead and arm the system up. Armed stay. Exit now. To show you that this will instantly set the alarm off when it's separated from the contact. Armed stay. Now that the panel is armed up, I'm going to remove the magnet from the contact, which will set the alarm directly off. Since it's Check an alarm, installed. select disarm again. One, two, three, four. Disarmed. Ready to arm. And then that Time. clears the fault and the alarm. And that's how you that's how you program the 5816 wireless window or door contact using its external capabilities, using an instant perimeter setting on the Lynx Touch L5210 all-in-one home and business security system. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos. Also visit our blog at DIYsecurityblog.com. And if you need to reach us by phone, our number is 1-877-443-6276.